What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Big Fry and I want to talk to you guys about this Hellion situation going on on Steam. It is the prime example as to why I am so harsh and and some would say assholian to developers going into Steam Early Access. I want to thank Sid Alpha for bringing this to my attention. I didn't even realize Hellion was in the development Hellion that it was in until he dropped his video on Christmas. If you guys want to watch somebody who is as professional as they come and break down the history of the game, and, and he, he made such a good video. By the way, again, Sid Alpha, shout out to the 100,000 subscribers. I see you, baby. Um, he put a great video out detailing what happened before the announcement came, and we're going to get into the announcement here. Hellion has come out and basically announced the end of development for for the game. Hellion, if you guys don't know what it is, it is a space exploration game. I guess you could say in like the same realm as a game like Star Citizen or or Elite Dangerous. I just don't think it obviously wasn't at the same level of quality. <laughs> just looking at some of the gameplay, it, it, it just looked like a big bag of shit. And it's weird because people, I remember when this game first came out, I never did cover it, but people wanted me to cover it. People were messaging me left, right, and center about Hellion, and it's just something that I never really looked into when it came out, and I guess maybe that's a contributing factor to why nobody plays it, I don't know, but they put out this post October 15th, 2019, basically they explain how they had a full team, took them less than two years to make their vision into reality, Hellion was launched in early access in February 2017, they say they succeeded in releasing a game that was almost impossible to be made, even though in my opinion, you didn't make it because it's still in early access which means you were still making the game so I'm not sure what they're patting themselves on the back in the first two paragraphs I don't really understand why but we get to a point uh, unfortunately the cruel reality is not enough players were brought into our world of Hellion to make it commercially viable after the sloppy start of the game predominantly in terms of bugs and issues we gave our best to fix the game and add new content via numerous patches and updates Hellion grew got better but it is still far from the original idea of what Hellion was meant to be factions additional ships trade posts all of this was simply put aside since our team was constantly fighting technical issues some of which were simply impossible to be solved for good so basically describing the fact that they launched too early in early access they ran into a myriad of problems including technical bugs uh basically goalpost moving in terms of uh features like additional ships and factions and they basically ran out of money that struggle's coming to an end, they go on to say. At this point, without an influx of new players, the game doesn't pay for its development. Now, I want you guys to remember that statement, the game doesn't pay for its development. That's why we had to make some hard decisions, they say. Zero Gravity, who are the developers, they can't afford for the development of Hellion. There will be no new updates, bug fixes, or any official changes to the game. So as of right now, no new updates, the game is in the state that it's in, and that's it. However, since the game is playable, and we believe it offers a unique gameplay experience, we want to keep it going for players who want to enjoy it. Okay, so, so sure. Hellion will leave early access without achieving goals we originally set out to do. And as of October 21st, 2019, Hellion has released into their essentially 1.0 to the general public. There is no longer an early access tag on the game. And to, to the naked eye, you would think that this game was actually released. Uh, October 21st, 2019, in doing so, actually put it in the new releases and this game was put out in the state that it was while it was in early access. In order to keep the servers up, this is where, this is where I have the biggest problem with what these guys are doing. In order to keep the servers up, we will continue selling the game on Steam. Since the game is not fully finished, the price will be lowered to $15 starting tomorrow, October 16th. That's the biggest problem that I have. You guys couldn't finish the game that you set out to do. You used early access. You had the funding. You had money coming in, and you couldn't get through all of the issues. The game is being essentially forced to launch in a broken, buggy, early access level alpha state in a 1.0 setting that if people didn't do their research and didn't read this announcement, you would think they would just be buying a full-fledged product 
This game should be removed from Steam, in my opinion. Especially on top of the fact that when you look at the, the, the Steam store page for Hellion right now, you do see things like ship modification is still labeled as a work in progress, which is completely wrong according to their own update where they say they are no longer providing updates or any sort of bug fixes or patches or anything to this game moving forward. So they didn't even bother updating their own Steam store page to reflect the true quality of this game. Ship modification is still a work in progress. Equipment says it's a work in progress. Uh, ship to ship combat still a work in progress. Subsystem targeting, destruction, damage propagation, damage control mechanic. All of these things are still saying that they are work in progress. I essentially providing some sort of like loosely put together roadmap that actually doesn't exist because the developers have abandoned this product. This is now, in my opinion, shovelware on the Steam store page that, in my opinion, is also breaking the terms of service. They are falsely advertising things that are happening in the development of this game, or should I say the lack thereof. I want you guys to remember all of these things, and I want you to just think about it as I move forward, because after Sid Alpha's video, these developers have decided to go on and release a statement in, regard, in, in, in response to his video that we're going to get into. Now, Sid Alpha also pointed out the fact that somebody who worked on the project went on to, it looks like, release a review for the game, which is a little bit interesting because I'm pretty sure that's against Steam Terms of Service as well. But basically, the guy says, uh, some of the people who wore the whole organization on their shoulders have come to various disagreements. Some of us wanted to continue the development, striving to rebuild and improve the gameplay, but others decided, and this is where it gets interesting, to abandon the project itself and use the funding from it to fuel their new projects. So you, you took the money. According to this person, you took the money. That, and I'm, I'm guessing you didn't take all the money. I'm sure some of it was used for development, but you, you took the money that was left and now you're funding other projects. Now, obviously everybody who has read this post, the, the main post saying, you know, we, we ran into problems, we couldn't afford to pay for blah, blah, blah. Not everybody is going to see this post from this person named Lekka. Uh, that's a problem. You literally took the money and you ran, which is what Sid Alpha's video was titled. They took the money and ran. And I, I go and I look at the post that they posted uh, on the 26th of December in which they link Sid Alpha's video and they make a response to this video where it basically, um, in my opinion, he made a great video detailing everything. And the response was a little bit muddled in my opinion. They go on to say he did solid research and he even made legitimate conclusions about the fate of Heli and they say it was all there. Insurmountable bugs, insanely ambitious projects, lack of experience, unity limitations, and many other issues that made the survival of Hellion impossible. We talked openly about this. Some of you raged. Some of you showed understanding. Some felt cheated. Others felt proud for being part of the Hellion story. And this is where this is where it literally sums up exactly what I do on this channel. It's the story of early access. It's the story of indie development. And it's the story of true passion for games. We have put more than four years of our lives into this project and we couldn't finish it. That sucks. That does suck. You know what also sucks? Consumers buying into it, even though you guys, in my opinion, you knew you couldn't get this project done. I hate rubbing salt in the wound, but this is, you have now just become another statistic. And I'm, I'm really getting sick and fucking tired of developers like this. The game could have been great, insanely ambitious. You guys didn't you guys didn't have the talent to do it, yet you you lived and you thrived for the short amount of time that you did on the backs of your consumers. People who wanted a project like this and you guys again are among a, a, a long laundry list of terrible developers who couldn't get it done. And I, maybe I'm an asshole for saying it, but it's the simple fact. You said it there yourself. It's the story of early access. It's the reason why I always stress to developers, come out with your best foot forward so we can see the quality, we can see the talent, and we can see at least some sort of goalpost or finish line 
so that we can put our money into something that could actually get finished. Now they go on to say that what they find illegitimate with this video is that the author labeled us as dirty devs. Sid has a series on his channel, a long running series called Dirty Devs, where he essentially goes in and talks about scams, people that rip off consumers, and just a whole bunch of shadiness in the indie gaming industry. Now they say that he found a Hellion review by an ex-member of Zero Gravity, and they, while we fully support journalistic enthusiasm, we must remind the author of the importance of hearing both sides before making any harsh labeling. Sid Alpha could have contacted us, but he didn't. He just wanted to make a sensational video. As a reply to the statement that we took the money and run, and to the comment of the aforementioned ex-member of the team that we are fueling other projects from Hellion sales revenue, Hellion is the opposite of a profitable game. The investor lost a lot of money, the team kept shrinking in phases since early access release, there are only two programmers on the team now, and their contracts will end in five days. This really sucks. So what they're saying is they're basically negating the fact that they took any money and ran. And fair enough. You know what? At the end of the day, fair enough. I'll give it to you. Sure. If that if that's not what happened, whatever doesn't matter. The fact is, is you guys have now just become yet another statistic. The reason why I find you guys in the dirty dev category is because Steam's early access guidelines, however vague and however vast and open they are, they do have a few strict guidelines for early access developers. Now you claim you had an investor, you claim that investor lost money. In just the few short rules that early access has, what early access is not, and it's the first point as to what early access isn't to a developer. Early access is not a way to crowdfund development of your product. You should not use early access solely to fund development. If you are counting on selling a specific number of units to complete your game, then you need to think carefully about what it would mean for you or your team if you don't sell that many units. Are you willing to continue development of the game without any sales? Are you willing to seek any other forms of investment? Now you have an investor, so I guess you could sit there and fall back and say, well, we did, but at the end of the day, your main point in your big post is that you have to shut this shit down because you can't be, well, the cruel reality is, I'm gonna quote it, not enough players were brought into our world of Hellion to make it commercially viable. That's not what early access is. And that's the problem with launching a game in an alpha or a pre-alpha state, because now you have to just add that much more time and it, it makes it tougher for you and it makes it more strenuous on the dev team to complete all of these goals. And obviously you guys say that you didn't have the talent to overcome some of the insurmountable technical issues. Don't launch that fucking early then. You guys are the prime example as to why early access is broken. And as much as you say, yeah, it sucks, we poured four years of our lives into it, you are the shining example of just why this platform is a fucking joke. So even if that review was wrong and you guys didn't take any money and you, you were a loss leader, whatever the case is, at this point, guys, Hellion is another tumbleweed in an empty fucking desert of dead developers and dead games. I don't know what these guys are going to do next. In my opinion, if I see another game coming out of zero gravity, we have a problem. Because if, if this one isn't commercially viable, you're claiming that the money, there was no money, blah, 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 and all of a sudden you now have a new game coming out next year or the year after that or whatever. I'm very curious to see what these guys are going to do next. I might sound super harsh with it, but at the end of the day, man, it's shit like this. And I remember people reaching out to me just every single day to talk about Hellion. Oh, Hellion's gonna be the next, the, the greatest fucking game since sliced bread. And I guess that's a double-edged sword because maybe because people didn't promote it, you didn't get the players that you wanted, but at the end of the day, if we would have all promoted it back in the day and you still didn't get the players or you didn't have the player base to buy the game or whatever the case is, it all would have just been for nothing anyway. Let me know what you guys think down below. It's, it's, it's interesting. On one hand, I feel so bad for the developers who have busted their ass to make something happen and just couldn't do it. But on the other, I just start to think of all of the developers who have been in this exact same position. And it just feels like nobody is learning a goddamn thing. Start small.
build something that you know you can get done in a reasonable amount of time and price it accordingly. Don't get four or five people to go and build the greatest space exploration open universe fucking game as your first game. And maybe this wouldn't have happened. My name is Big Fry. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, do all the cool things. Come through to my Twitch channel every day, every morning, sometimes during the evenings. I am streaming over there, playing video games, Star Citizen Squad, EFT, whatever the case is, whatever I feel like playing. Click the link down in the description below. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>